Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Rip. Wait a minute, what the hell is this? Is it a new theme? It looks so bland and gray. The reason I'm making your eyes water looking at this is that a while ago I asked on the Reaper subreddit, what is something from another DAW that you wish Reaper did? One thing that someone mentioned is Logic Pro's swipe comping. Today we're going to try and approximate the swipe comping workflow in Reaper. Just so we're all on the same page, I want to show you swipe comping here, and then we'll get into Reaper and try to set it up. So just like Reaper, Logic Pro can record overlapping items called regions in Logic Pro on the same track. And once it's done, we're presented with takes like you are seeing right here. So once you finish recording, the last recorded take is selected and showing in blue while the other takes are grayed out. So if we want to create a composite take or a comp, we can do that via swipe comping. So say I like my take four up to this point, but after that I like take two more. I just move my mouse to the beginning of the area I want, click and drag, and now we can see the same area in take four is grayed out. And this chunk from take two goes to the top where we can see the final result of our comp. Then from there, I can go to take three, maybe swipe here to select this chunk from it. And then finally, let's go back to take two and swipe to the end. And here's our comp take. From here, if I want, I can move a whole blue take like this. I can also left click on a grayed out take to replace the phrase, or I can just drag on the gray area to swipe and select a whole new chunk of stuff. And I can even click in the intersection of clips and kind of finesse the crossfade areas. When it's ready, I can just collapse all the takes to get my screen space back. And if I want to commit to this comp, I can just click here to flatten the take. So let's get right into Reaper and do some recreating. So, all right, here's Reaper looking sexy as always. And real quick, I'm going to record a bunch of garbage and takes. And while we do that, let me just warn you right off the bat, our system will not be exactly, exactly like the Logic Pro system. It's a bit of a different workflow. So if you're going to be a stickler about it, get out right now and don't say that I didn't warn you. But anywho, once we're done, just like in Logic, our last take will be active, except that in Reaper, the takes are ordered chronologically from top to bottom. And in LPX, it was the other way around. Now I've already covered takes in an older video and you can find links to that above and below and all over the place. But real quick, I just wanted to show you that with K and Shift K, I can cycle through takes and with Y, I can select the take under my mouse cursor. Other than those, I have another relevant action I use here, which is S and I have set that to item, split item under mouse cursor, select right. So that means I can move my mouse anywhere, hit S and the item gets split and then the right side gets selected. This also obeys snapping. So if snap is on, it'll split the item to the nearest grid under mouse cursor and otherwise it'll be exactly under the mouse. As always, you can find a full list of all the hotkeys I used in the blog post. So if I'm going too fast, don't worry about it too much just yet. So let's go to this item here, hit Y to select take one. And then I can split it here with S and now hit Y to choose take two for this chunk. Let's choose take three now, split it again over here, Y over here, and I just keep going like this. And I'm basically just getting a rough comp together like this based on how many splits I want. But now to do the actual swipe comping, I can go back to the beginning and zoom in and kind of finesse these cuts to where I want them. So I have my auto crossfade enabled here in my main toolbar. So when I split two items, they will have a crossfade between them. And if you move your mouse to the intersection of two items being crossfaded, you can use the mouse modifier shift to move the crossfade left and right. So if I do that, that's kind of like swipe comping. Let's leave this one here. Let's bring this back a little bit, this one forward, and just keep going like this until my crossfades are exactly where I need them. These look good, this one looks good, and I can just trim the end if I need to, and I got my comp. If I need to make some extra cuts, I can just use S to split here and here, and then hit Y to choose the take I want to split to. Once I'm done, there's a few things I can do. So let's select all of these items, and I can hit Option, Shift, and T, and then we'll crop them to be the active take, getting rid of the rest. So that's like the flatten option in Logic Pro. We're committing to our takes. I can also right-click on them, go to Take, and go to Duplicate Active Take. The hotkey for that is Command, Control, and Backslash and that will copy your comp down below as a separate take, which is nice because that preserves all of our original takes in the same order that they were before. I can go to the same right-click menu and lock them to active take. So that way when I click on them, I won't accidentally change the take, but I can still use shift to move the intersections 
and my Y hotkey will still work as well, which is why I have it instead of just clicking. Another thing you can do is to just keep them as is, but to declutter the screen, you can go to your action list and look for show all takes in lanes when room. And as you can see, the state of this action is now on, but if I run it once to set the state to off, we can now see that it looks like a regular item, but the takes are still there. So if I right click to unlock them, I can press K or shift K to change the take on any individual item. And without committing to anything, I still see everything as if they were one continuous item. But if this is not fast enough for you, we can also make a custom action. I call this one split and select take under mouse. And that basically just combines the two hotkeys that I've been using all along. So it splits the item under mouse and selects the right one. And then in the selected item, we'll choose the take under mouse. This extra action to wait is just a bit of a fail safe. I tested and saw that it's less buggy with this in there. And also instead of setting a hotkey for this, I'm just gonna go to preferences, mouse modifiers, and I'll choose the media item context and left click. And here your default modifier for option is to select item ignoring selection and grouping. I personally never use that one. So let's maybe reassign this one. So let's click down here on action list, find the action we just created and I hit select. It comes up here and I hit apply and close this window. So let's reset our takes to the original and see how this works. So this time when we want to make the splits, we put our mouse where we want to split and we also make sure we're on the take we want to choose. And with option and left click, I do both of these at the same time. So option click, let's choose take three on this one and split it right here. Option click and rinse and repeat. Move the mouse to where the cut is going. Option click, bam, and move on. So just to recap, I'm hitting option click at the end of the phrase I want to select and I move my mouse to the take that I want to select like that, like that, like that. And at the end, let's just click on this one. And then once again, I'll zoom in and using my shift mouse modifier, I go to the crossfade and move it left and right. And that is a default mouse modifier in media item fade slash auto crossfade, left drag. And the default for shift is move crossfade, ignoring snap. And now when I come to a crossfade and hold shift, my cursor changes into this icon. And now I can just move them left or right wherever I want. You know, make sure I catch the beginnings of phrases, leaving enough tail for reverbs and so on. If I want to make extra cuts in the middle, I can option click to just use this one note from take two. Finally, say I made a bunch of cuts and I selected some takes and now I changed my mind and I wanna just use take two for this whole phrase. Well, if we swipe this take back, it just creates these adjacent crossfades that no one needs. So what I can do instead is to select this take two and now we have a few take two cuts in a row. I can select them all and hit command and H and the cuts go away. And that is heel splits and items, which we also have in our right click menus. Let's do it again. Select all four items here, command and H, the splits are healed. I can still swipe it if I need to. So yeah, that I think just about gets the gerb done. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you like the work I do, you can become a member of this channel and get access to some special perks, or you can support me with one-time donations through buymeacoffee.com. All the links will be in the description. A huge thanks to Nicholas S and Will P for your donations. Even though you're also members, I really appreciate that. Also thanks to Gerain Sun, Slimpy Man, and we also had an anonymous donor again. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.